Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. Glad you're, uh, you're able to join me today. If you are new here, the Main Corps is a community for men interested in digging to the core of who they are to figure out why they're here and how to become the best version of themselves. We cover masculinity, health, and relationships. In today's video, we're gonna talk about masculine and feminine energy, how they are different, and how you can become the best version of a man that you can by embodying masculine energy traits to attract a top quality and the best version in feminine energy as you can. So, when you look at the very basic nature of how men and women are even just designed, you know, men are very, are very, for lack of a better term, we're pointed, right? I mean, that's just how it is. And women are, are, are the receptacle. They're, they're the receiving side. So if you think of it like, you know, even fucking like Miss Pac-Man or whatever, you know, it's, it's very, you know, guys are, guys are, are very directional. We're very projected and women are a lot more about receiving and, um, being open and flow. We'll get into the individual characteristics, but just to kind of visually set things, just think of the masculine energy as being pointed and being very intentional and very um, spearheaded and the woman or the feminine energy being more receptive or more open, more flow, more of receiving. So, with that in mind, I have a list here of 25 traits for both masculine and feminine energy. And this should give you a really good idea of what to look for and a really good idea of the things that maybe either you do really well or the things that you could work on if you're trying to become the best version of a man that you can. And how to attract that of the opposite. You know, if you think about it like polar, um, like the North and South Pole, right? There's polarity there. Masculine, feminine energy, North, South, um, dark, night, left, right. You know, think of them as being the further apart that they are. You know, if you put two ends of a magnet together, they, they repel each other. So that is exactly why, you know, two masculine men don't, you know, they, they're, they, they don't jive well, right? They don't go together. They don't fit together. It's too pointy, right? Two guys that embody that masculine energy. Um, even if even if you're in uh, same-sex uh, relationships or same-sex marriages, whatever it is, there's always one who embodies more masculine energy and one who embodies more feminine energy. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter if it's same-sex or not. It's just That's just how it is, right? So 25, 25 traits that you are important and I think to me the most the most poignant in in each side of them and we're gonna go through them and I'll I'll, I'll list the the masculine feature and then I will list the the opposite side in the feminine nature and I'll kind of you know fill in the blanks here so first off the top of the bat is men are direct right so again pointed very very directional women are a little bit more passive so kind of, you know, oh, I didn't see that kind of, you know, you know, off into space as a guy would probably call it, right? They're just a little bit more passive, not passive aggressive, just passive. So men are direct. We go right for what we want. Women are like, they kind of dance around about it. Men or ma the masculine energy is they're decisive, right? So they are, we got to make a decision. We're going to do this and we're going to go to dinner at seven at this restaurant on Tuesday. We're gonna buy a black car. We're gonna move into this house. Very decisive, right? Very land on a target. This is where we're going. This is what we're doing. Women, they don't like to make those decisions. They're kind of, I don't know, you know, I don't, you make the decision, you know, what do you think? Like they just, they, they're very indecisive. Oh, what should I wear? You know, they're just kind of all, kind of all over the place to a guy. But again, that, you know, decisive, Kind of free-flowing, indecisive, right? Indecision. That's why it's important that the man is the next trait, which is leader. So a leader sets the tone, sets the plans, makes the decisions, goes first. And women, they're 
happily, when they're in their more feminine nature, are more followers. You know, they actually, they feel safer when you're leading and when, when you're taking control and you're taking the rein. They would rather follow. They don't want to make the decisions about where to eat, what to go, what color of car. They would rather just be along for your journey. If you know where you're going, they're, they're happy to go along with you. Okay. The next one is external focus. So men are, you know, achievements, uh, accomplishing, breaking through barriers, and you know, they're very results driven where women are more internal focused. So they focus on, you know, how does this make me feel? How will it make that other person feel? What, what's going on inside of me? How does this all affect how I feel about myself? So they're very, um, they're very internally focused. Men are, um, or I, I keep saying men and women, you know, either one doesn't really matter. Masculine energy is all about results. And, um, you know, again, accomplishing, achieving, and feminine energy is about the process of it, right? So, you know, it's not so much about, even when you ask a, like a girl out and you go out on a date, like for a guy, he thinks, okay, like I, I went out to dinner and then we went and had drinks and then like it's very step one, step two, and step three. So those are like, those are the results that he's trying to achieve. The same date for a woman is, is, is really the whole process of it. You know, it's, it's how you asked her out. It's where are you taking her? How are you interacting with her? How are you interacting with the staff? How are you um, engaged in conversation? It's the whole process and everything around the dinner, drinks, then whatever efforts. Hopefully something fun and exciting, bedroom Olympics, but <laughs> anyway. Um, they're more about the whole process, right? Um, the next one, so men, or again, masculine energy is all about competition, being very competitive. They're more individualistic and they're more independent in that right, right? Um, where feminine energy is all about collaboration. They want to bond. They want to connect. That's why when you're at a restaurant and you see a group of girls over in the corner, like there's like, there's never just a couple of them. They tend to run in like herds. There's just a ton of them where it's not abnormal to see, you know, a smaller group of guys or like one or like just maybe just a pair of them just hanging out and chatting, just going back and forth, right? Again, very linear, logical. That's probably a conversation between two guys that's very just back and forth. One, two, you know, very directional, very intentional, where the conversation with multiple girls or with or the conversation in a feminine energy juiced environment is all over the place. It doesn't even seem like anybody's like really getting anything done because you just got all this chatter, but that's just how it is. Like they, they, you know, it's all about the, you know, the, the collaborative rather than just kind of being there on their own. Right. And that's a, there's a survival instinct there, which, um, that, that comes from the masculine energy, but, um, masculine energy is about taking action, right? So again, step one, step two, step three, but it's all about actually doing it. It's not about the actual planning of it, which that's the women, or that's the more, the, the more feminine energy side of it, okay? So that's why, you know, the feminine prefers to, you know, plan for her pregnancy, plan her wedding, um, plan what you're gonna do for the holidays. You know, it's very, things are, things are more orchestrated where guys are just like, I'm just going to wake up and go. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go buy the car. I'm just going to go, you know, mow the lawn. I'm not going to plan anything about it. It's just, I'm just going to do it, right? Uh, attack it, go after it, be very mission focused, right? So I don't need to plan about it. I just, we're going to fucking do it. Um, th the next one is doing, and I think that's kind of one and the same. So masculine energy is about doing rather an action and the feminine is more about being i think you know i i kind of look at that as being like the yoga studios but yoga studios by and large are, are pretty filled with a, a larger collection of girls who are feminine girls um or people that are most active in their um feminine i'm not saying that there's not um you know masculine guys in the yoga studio by and large you know that whole being and and being in the present state like all that crap um 
I think that stuff's good. Mindfulness is good, but you know, it's the whole, like, you're just being, you know, guys are, they're all in their head about like, okay, what do I got to do? I got to go to work tomorrow. So I got to get this done. I got a meeting and da, da, da. and women are just like, I'm just going to be right. I'm just going to, I just want to be in the experience. I just want to feel everything that's going on around me and, and be in the present moment. That's, you'll hear that a lot for the feminine. Uh, masculine energy, intentional. So I've mentioned that before, but it's very just, I know what I want. I'm just going to go do it. This is, this is what I'm after. This is what I'm going to do. And women or the f feminine energy is more about the effect, right? So how did that whole thing affect how it may, like, how does it make me feel? What is the effect that it has um, on me? And you know, does it, does it, how does it make me feel essentially? I mean, I can't, some of these, I, I'm out of our time with because, you know, I, I identify with all masculine traits. So, but it's important to, to know, you know, that, that there's a big difference here. So that's probably one I need to work on. <laughs> um, so masculine energy is about logic, right? So very clear, very, you know, if there are directions, like there's just no deviating from it. It's just, you know, they're very straightforward. It's just very cut and dry. They're very logical. Women are more about values. So values carry a lot more uh, context. They carry a lot more emotion. They carry a lot more, um, you know, heart and emotion and, and uh, feelings in them than do just, you know, logical directions or logical rules, whatever the case may be, logical things. Um, masculine energy is about independence, right? So I, I'm okay being on my own. I live on my own. Um, I, I want to be independent. I don't want to have to rely on other people. I am self-assured and mas the masculine energy is an independent person. You're self-reliant. And the feminine energy is interdependent, meaning it's more about, again, that collaboration, that group, that uh, that collective setting, um, and that that's better uh, for for her, and that's better for um, the feminine is to be sort of surrounded. That's why they're they're nurturers, they're they're family, and they're they're herders, right? Um, bonders. They they want to connect more. The masculine energy is urgent. So I have a task, I have a mission, and it's it's imperative that I get that done. It's survival, it's, it's there's, there's an urgency to, to what I'm doing. There's an urgency to the masculine. Where women are more, more patient, more go with the flow, see the outcome, see the effects. Uh, maybe that's where it correlates there. Uh, wait, you know, kind of hold back and determine how it makes me feel before I, before I do anything, I guess. Um, the next one is analysis. So masculine energy is all about like really getting in your head, like I mentioned that before. So just kind of evaluating everything on a, uh, on a, on a grid basis. You know, if you've ever seen a grid, it's, you know, it's ba basically squares all the way across, right? Where um, the, the woman is, or the, the feminine energy is all about uh, intuition. So it's like, I see this, I see the grid, but like, you know, what is my gut or what is my heart or what is, what am I feeling about the direction about getting to the other side using the grid? You know, the masculine using that same grid will say, okay, I'm going to go to this square, then that square, that square, that, that. and the woman is just saying, well, you know, why should I choose that? And they're a little bit more cautious. They're a little bit more um, looking internally rather than just like that step one, step two, step three. They're, they're just, they're, they, they seek in an internal answer more than they would a, I see that there are steps to the destination, right? Okay. So the next one is, is head. And you know, I mean this guy, um, again, the more linear logical thinking, the analysis, where the feminine energy is all about the heart. How does it make me feel? How is what I'm saying going to make that other person feel? How is the, you know, the color, temperature, feel very sensory? 
Um, what does it smell like? What, you know, what it's all about that experience, right? All about the being in the present moment. Uh, masculine energy is about speaking. So if you're intentional and you're directional and, and you have intent and you're, you're moving towards a target and you're competitive and you are doing, well, you are, you know, you're projective in, in, in your command, you're projective in your, um, in your tone, you're projective in the world. You're piercing, you're piercing in the world. Okay. Not ear piercing, but just piercing. Yeah, you get it. Okay. So where the woman or the fem feminine energy, I keep doing that. What the fuck? The, the feminine energy is about listening, right? So again, because we are receiving, being open, being the receptacle, being receptive, that is the listening portion, okay? So they're more patient and they're more, they're more open, more receptive to that. Uh, masculine energy is, is directional. Some of these are gonna be repeats, but I just, I thought that, you know, I wasn't repeating any, so I'm gonna go through them. Directional, so I've cut, that's pretty cut and dry, and and uh, the feminine is more open. So, if we have north for twenty miles, if masculine has has north for twenty miles, then uh, you know five miles west, um, the feminine is like, well, you know, I don't like that way, or I usually go this way because I like to see this sign, and that's the way that I used to go when I was a kid. Like it's just. You know, it's more, it's more open. Now, even though there's a clear fucking direction there, like just kind of, oh, whatever, I'll go with the flow. Probably be dangerous if, you know, they didn't have like a leader that knew exactly where he's going, but they do fine on their own. I'm just saying, you get it. So masculine is about assertiveness. So that is, that is putting your, your opinions, your thoughts, that is putting yourself out into the world and you know, putting your foot down and being, um, being assertive, right? And the feminine is more accommodating. So if they're more patient, more open, more collaborative, the, they're, they're less focused about what the exact rules are and more open to accommodations and seeing it both sides and, um, being, being a, more of a collaborator rather than um, step one, step two, step three, and, and doing it on my own. The masculine is more uh, projective. And again, that's kind of one in the same as what I mentioned before. And the feminine is more response. So how did that make me feel? What am I thinking or feeling or sensing on the inside? That is what, what response am I having to this? The masculine is more conscious. So conscious meaning I know that, you know, this is my body, this is where I'm at, this is my house, and I'm doing this video, where the, the feminine is more subconscious. And this is, I think, the big part about communication between men and women that like, you know, guys, we're not mind readers, or, you know, guys who are in their masculine, they're just not, mi they're not mind readers. Like, we don't know what the fuck that they're thinking. And because they like to dance around the dance kind of around the truth and you have to very much read between the lines with the feminine. This is where I think the communication between them is so, is so off. Um, because we are, we, we are intentional, we're directional and we're, we're boisterous about it. And we're putting our, we're projecting our, our thoughts and, you know, our direction out there. And the feminine is more of a guessing game. Um, it's more, you know, trying to figure out how the whole thing makes me feel. And guys, do, we have don't have any sense of that, right? So, um, or masculine doesn't have much sense of that. So, where I where I think that they could really reduce the the communication issues is if somebody in their feminine would actually give their partners step one, step two, step three, and it seems tedious. Think to the feminine, they think like, why, why the, the rigid uh, structure? That's how, that's how people who, men or people in their masculine, that's how they see the world, that's how they operate, that's, you're speaking their language. If I knew exactly what you were feeling, then I would be speaking the feminine language. 
Um, I can't see that and people in their masculine can't see that. So the, breaking down the communication barrier would be great and would be significantly improved if those in their feminine would give their masculine counterparts, you know, very structured directional rules and approach. So the next one is structure. So I think I just said that, right? So they like, they like structure. You know, I get up at this time, I go to work, I have dinner, I have the meeting, I have this, I go to the gym, I do this, you know, just very like, we don't, that, that's like good. Like it kind of, we could eat the same thing like all week. Like we don't really care. It's just, we don't really get into the, the whole, the whole thing where the, the feminine is more random. So hap, haphazard, less structure. Um, I'll be where I'm at in the present moment and I'll figure it out when I get there. I haven't really, you know, I don't really know, but it depends on how I feel or, or, you know, just kind of being random, spontaneous. Um, that's, that's how I understand it. The masculine is more about expanding, growth, expansion, achieving, accomplishing, breaking through barriers. So expand, expanding, growing where getting bigger, you know, big muscles, big, huge, big gregarious, the silverback, uh, you know, lifting weights, you know, these are all protect, um, protection and strength. And these all go back to very, uh, you know, strong masculine qualities where the feminine is more, is more that they contract, right? They have, when they're, I mean, I mean, for, Women who are pregnant, they have contractions. But uh, more specifically though, they like really small things. That's why they like really small animals. That's why, you know, when you're all cuddled up with them, they just get all tiny and small. Um, they just like really small things, you know, small feet, small babies. They just love small shit. So they're all about like, you know, contracting and, and, and compacting things and, and small things. And guys are about, let's get big, let's do, let's do it big. We got mission accomplished. We got achieve. We're gonna results. Like we're gonna grow and move forward. And women are like, no, nah, I'm gonna, you know, shrink in, in, or women in their feminine. People in their feminine are more in their uh, uh, contractual or shrinking, right? Okay. So we have four more left here. The next one is certain. So masculine are certain. We are going here at seven. I am going to wear this shirt. And I know that this shirt looks good. I want to, I'm certain that this is going to happen. I am certain about a, a particular outcome, okay? Where people who are in their feminine are more subjective. So again, read between the lines. It's not so cut and dry. Things are, are a little bit more subjective. They have a lot more context to them. It's not so uh, definitive, not so this is the answer to the question, not so true, false. There could be, you know, a, a D, all the above uh, in subjective. The next one is uh, the masculine is very linear. So this kind of goes back to like the logical or the grid system that I mentioned before, where the, the, the feminine is more circular. So more about flow, more about emotion or flow, motion, and emotion, uh, more, they're more circular, you know, we're linear, you know, this is the one, two, three, and she's going to get there eventually, or people in the family are going to get there eventually, but it's going to be, you know, an internal question and an internal, internally sourced, uh, arrival, I guess, for lack of a better term. The next one is competitive. So, you know, we're, provide, protect, earn, um, you know, we're out for ourselves, we're individuals, we're results driven, we're competitive, where the feminine is more connect, bond, collaborate, and, uh, you know, accommodate, be together, be in that group setting, be in that family setting, uh, be together, um, share, that's, you know, they're just, they're just internal, right? Um, they want to bond, they want to connect. The very last one, so this is 25, we're here, and it's almost 25 minutes into the, into the thing, so this, or into the video, so this is perfect. 
So the last masculine quality is survival, and which is makes sense, right? So that is, you know, we got to we got to protect, we got to earn. We're all about just thriving through the day, making it through. We got we're sending they're sending us out into the jungle, right? So we got to find food, we got to find um, resources, right? So that's that's what the masculine is supposed to do. They're brave enough, they're courageous enough. They are survival, right? And the feminine is about the experience. So it's, it's again, it's all about how things around them are making them feel, how you, they experience that whole process, how they are engaged in how it makes them feel internally, how collaborative or the planning phases it is a it is an answer that they get to because of, of of really how things are affecting them around them it's their it's everything around them it's how they experience life it's how they experience colors sounds tastes it's how they experience um, events it's just how everything around them you know how it flows through them so we did it 25 of the top masculine versus feminine energy characteristics. So I would love to hear your thoughts. So please share your comments below. Let me know what you think. If I've missed anything here, or if you have anything to add, I, I really do appreciate all the comments that you guys have been sharing. Thank you so much. I, I continue to love this stuff. I'm having a really good time um, and I'm really enjoying producing this content. I want to continue to do that for you guys and continue to bring you really valuable stuff that we can all learn from. Um, please like the video, share the video, comment below, and please do share the channel with anybody that you think would be good members to the Mancore community. I have to run, but it has been great, fellas. I will catch you on the next episode here at the Mancore. Cheers.